Dense la mano y buena suerte a los dos. Good luck to both of you. Slightly longer, Sullivan Barrera. He has not shown up in any fight where long levels of inactivity appear to have damaged him. Back at Athens in 2004. Good night. Well, you know, his shoulder's okay now, so he probably trying to make sure he gets more out of that right hand. To observe that right knee carefully ever since he tore his ACL seven years ago. But the potential assignment back in November is, to our knowledge, the only fight he's ever missed because of the knee injury. And that was because of swelling and soreness. Andre Ward was number one on many pound-for-pound -pound lists, but he's dropped right, off of a lot of them. He's fighting. He is definitely the best pound-for-pound -pound guy out there right now. You know, Roy Jones told us between fights why it is that Andre Ward is so good against punchers. And when a fighter's in an active Roy as Andre's been, his timing is a little off, good maybe jab. a little easier to hit. Um, when you got a guy that can neutralize the range that will, He's always in control of what goes on in the ring. He's always in control of the distance that they're they're fighting at. Not sure what he's facing, so he's trying to figure out still what kind of power under he has. Oh, he landed a good right hand. There, landed a good right hand, exactly right. So he tried to land a big straight right, but now he's trying to land the hook because under is not showing him or giving him the right hand. He's not the fastest. He's not the biggest puncher. He brings exactly what he needs for the particular job. That's a professional. Quick left hooks. So far for Andre Ward. Yeah, when we fight against big guys, you got to understand that when you fight a big guy, the first thing you got to show him is that just because you're big does not mean you're in control tonight. But you're not the biggest guy in here tonight. I'm just as big as you are when it comes to heart and fighting ability. And that's what Andre is doing tonight. And Sullivan Barrera in the first appearance as a full-fledged light heavyweight. And early on, he seems to have the boxing advantage against Barrera. And he knocks him down with a quick left hook. Andre Ward delivers a knockdown in round three. And he did. And you know his shoulder's okay now, so he can... Every style he faces, it's specific to his opponent. Oh, on the angles Bay Area. and, yep. And here, kind of... Almost landing another big left hook. And a beautiful left hook high on the top of the head. That shot sent Sullivan Barrera to the canvas. Harold, how do you have it through three? I'll get you. I got it three to nothing. 30 to 26. Andre won. Round three for that knockdown. Clean knockdown with that shot to the top of the head. Andre won the first two rounds with that jab. So anyway. Sacrificing speed and defense a little bit here, or is his speed and defense, has it been compromised by the layoff and by age? No, his speed and defense is built in already. This is what he does. When it comes time, don't think. And this is what he's doing right now. He has to have his game on display. Look Very much at all in a fight, even over the course of a 12-round distance. Barrera's... is what happens if Kovalev lands with a few of those clean shots. It doesn't take many from Kovalev. Probably hasn't seen an opponent who has the kinds of reflexes. Stop, Stop at the barrel. Stop. Andre Ward seemingly in control early against Sullivan Barrera. Got a knockdown on a left hook in the third round. Landed high on Barrera's head. Stop. Good faint right hand by Andre. Yeah. A lot of fighters have game plans. Why does your punch output drop from 79 to 53? Because you're getting countered whenever you overcommit. And everything Sullivan Burrell throws has knockout on it, so it's much easier for Andre to see him coming. Missing with the jab. Right, Andre can play defense from a distance or in close or or in that middle distance. And Ward's counter left hand is right on the chin. And Another left hook lands for Ward. He is. Good hook by Ward. Andre Ward is so quick on the trigger with his left hook. There's no wasted motion whatsoever. Close. There you go. Yep. 
Jab to the body again. And he comes upstairs with the right hand. Good body shot by Barrera. Ward gets him back with a left hook. Another straight shot right up the middle, perfectly landed by Ward. Left hook landed inside for Barrera. Sullivan Barrera, that is. And as the fight progresses, even when Barrera lands a punch upstairs. So is the way to beat Ward perhaps to focus to the body? To be Barrera's best chance. Well, right now, has landed in the fight. Ward 77, Barrera 57. And Ward has mixed his attack upstairs, downstairs, left, right, jab. Dominated by the skill level of Andre Ward. Harold, how do you have it through six? Okay, Jim, I got it six to nothing, 60 to 53, Andre Ward. Sullivan Barrera's not moving his hands enough. I mean, Andre shots, and he's winning the fight because Barrera spent so darn much time standing there looking at him like he's doing right now. I mean, you heard Abel just imploring him to, to move his hands because of the fact that uh, the former WBA president, Gilberto Mendoza, passed away. Talked to Steph Curry earlier and Draymond Green's here. You just saw Marshawn Lynch. And when athletes of that caliber show up to a guy's fights, you know, real recognized real, game recognized game. It's not dissimilar from Michael Jordan signing Roy Jones when he, because those guys aren't just showing up. They're showing up because they're the real deal and they believe so is he. These are championship level athletes. Instead of watching Villanova's upset of Kansas in the basketball tournament, not likely. It appears so far to see an upset here tonight as Ward is once again performing like Andre Ward, meaning in command. Well, one thing Andre Ward will tell you is this is tough, this is dangerous, this is not easy. It's one of the things that drives him and makes him good. It's one of the things that makes him best. Run left hooks in there, Roy, even when they're not landing. Good, quick left hook again inside by Andre Ward. Load the kitchen, throw what you can throw, take your shots, and you know, regardless of what the outcome is gonna be, don't walk away from here saying that you didn't try as hard as you could to knock this guy out. One of the amateur fights were very busy and threw more punches. They were not just trying to knock out. They were throwing punches to score points. He does not do that, and this is shown right here. Germany for the news conference that announced the whole thing and incredulously he called back here to the United States to Virgil Hunter's trainer and said Virgil they don't think I'm going to win this thing two to one against uh, Kessler to start a lot of people felt he beat Kalzaki it didn't work out that way but he was considered a he was actually leading Kalzaki around the fourth or fifth round and then Kalzaki as he was capable of doing oh the body shot down goes Barrera after the body shot, and Caiz is going to say it was a low blow. So there'll be no knockdown. Stop at the bell, Stop! It was a little low. That punch moved the whole cup, so yes, it was higher, but it could have pulled the cup right into the wrong area. And he did have a reaction as though the cup did touch some of the wrong spots. Trying to regain his energy after the low blow knockdown. Ward thoroughly in control of the fight up to this point. Controlling also with a counter-punching skill, Roy. I mean, Barrera has long ago learned that when he risks... I think if Andre really starts showing more feints and things like that... Virgil, it seems that he came out a little more flat-footed uh, to start the fight. Was he trying to prove a point that he's in the light heavyweight division, he's not the smaller guy? No point. Just evolve naturally like that. It's, it's right for that type of style. A freeze. Sullivan is being a little defensive or he's coming on. When you're fainting and he doesn't react, then you go with a punch. Then you just have to keep fainting until he doesn't react anymore. You make him, you make it look like a deer stand. It's camouflaged and it's gonna happen, but nothing's gonna happen after. Great body shot by Ward. That hurts so really hard body shot. Sullivan Barrera backed away. But the hook working for him, so why even worry about it? It became a 9-9 round, which is why I have one round even and eight rounds for Andre Wood.
at a distance that he really could have done no damage at. He was too close to Ward to land him, uh, to land the right hand. Is that correct? I don't know. Andre Ward got cut by an accidental headbutt. Got it. Another good quick left hook. Depending on how bad the cut is by the end of the fight. And as we're dis discussing here, the location and the nature of the cut could affect that. And now we go to round 10, or round 11, I should say, into the championship rounds. That has been the super quick left hook. Ooh, there it is again. Right hand landed for Barrera. Didn't produce any returns. and took to school, but he's not getting really abused yet. He's never been past eight. To at the satisfaction of most of us probably at ringside that he can, in fact, fight a 12-round fight. You know, it's no real blot on your record that you get beaten by a dominated from the opening bell. Cuban that nobody knows much about at this point out of their comfort zone until you knew in the beginning that he'd be fine fighting a guy like this. Very uncomfortable. He loves to take a puncher and take his punches away from him. Done exactly that again tonight. But ringside watching Andre Ward tonight sees here he is in the 12th round of a fight he's dominated on the ropes and got hit with a straight right hand. Look better than this. What is he going to do that's going to make him better? There's you a see that right hand landed right, right there? It took him 12 rounds to finally land it. Well, there's a contract. So most likely there'll be a lot of discussion. Whether Ward fights Kovalev in the next fight or one fight beyond.